Hey class, so this is exercise 1.2 and I just want you to play with the mask brushes and get familiar with how they work. So let's get started. So you're going to first um, open up your Sphere 3D and make Poly Mesh 3D. And then I've sped this up a tiny bit. But to activate your mask brushes, you're going to hold down Control and you'll get an option of many different mask brushes. The first one I'm using here is the mask pen, and it is kind of like it sounds. It's just a pen that will draw a mask anywhere on your screen. If you click outside of your model and drag across, that will activate the mask rectangle. And that can be super useful if you're trying to mask off like the top of an object or any kind of straight lines. There's also a mask circle. So you hold down control and your mask options will appear. You click control and click and drag outside of empty space to clear that mask. So now I'm just clicking and dragging and I can create that mask circle anywhere around my sphere. And I'm using those modifier brushes, but you can just hold down control. I think it's a little easier. Um, mostly because if you are using the toggle then you have to remember to turn it off before you try and rotate around. Okay, and I just want you to play around, maybe make some cool shapes, and then we're gonna use like the standard brush to kind of inflate um, the unmasked areas. I'm also going to go to Geometry and turn on Dynamic Subdivisions. So what this does is act kind of like Maya's smoothing. And I'm also going to turn on masking menu in the tool menu. And you can see that I can blur this mask and I can sharpen this mask. And I can also clear the mask there or invert it. So you can also clear the mask again by clicking and dragging in empty space while holding down control. Okay, so once I'm kind of happy, I have like a weird um, earth thing going on here. I'm just gonna make a really big brush with my standard brush and just kind of click and drag all over my mesh on the unmasked areas. So what it's gonna do is act kind of like an inflate. There is an inflate brush and I could make this inflation bigger by adjusting the Z intensity settings. So if I made the Z intensity like 100, just doing a quick brush over this would make it go really inflated. But I'm kind of digging this. It's got like a weird earth feel to it. There's no Australia in here or maps without New Zealand. Um, and then I'm just gonna shift and smooth some of the edges. Because this is somewhat low poly or this is low poly, um, I'm just kind of playing around with it. I just want you to get familiar with using shift, using control, and then using your standard brushes. So play around with this one. It doesn't have to look pretty, doesn't have to look interesting. I just want you to get used to using the tools and um, take a screenshot of it and that will be exercise 1.2. Thanks. And keep going for exercise 1.3. Okay, so exercise 1.3 is just playing with the move brush and then using the standard brush or um, the masking brush to just play around with um, your sphere and make something kind of interesting. Okay, so for the move brush in general, I try and use a large sized move brush. That's gonna give you less lumps and bumps. You can see how this has got a lot of weird lumps to it. So I'm just gonna undo using my timeline or, yeah, my timeline, and turn on symmetry. And then see how I'm using like long, large brush size with long strokes. And I'm just gonna use that mask pen tool. So hold down control and just click. And then I'm just gonna use the standard brush, but I just want you to play around 
It doesn't have to be anything special. Just um, see what you can create using a large move brush, small move brush. You can also experiment with the move elastic brush and um, just have fun with it. To reverse the mask like I just did, you're gonna press Control and click an empty space briefly and that will invert that mask or you can go into the masking menu in the tool menu. So I'm just pressing Alt to kind of carve in as well as carve out. And then I'm using the standard brush to build up like a little nose. And then using a really large move brush to move that chin out. So just kind of play around. Again, it really doesn't matter what this looks like. Just um, have fun and get used to the interface and take a screenshot and upload it to Blackboard. All right, thanks class.